You're watching Bye Bye Wilmington on CBS 10 WILM. Here's your host, Don Ansel. We're back uh, with the Republican candidate uh, for the State Senate District 8 race for the seat that was held by the longest serving state senator in the history of North Carolina, Democrat R.C. Souls. Republican Bill Rabin is with us. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. It's good to be here. Um, so you're a veterinarian in, in, in Southport, North Carolina. What drew you into the political arena? Well, <clears throat> everyone asks me that. <laughs> I'm sure then you got everyone to answer. answer that. My answer is always the same. Mm -hmm. uh, the time in my life has a lot to do with it. The time in politics has a lot to do with it. And uh, um, I have spent uh, three and a half decades as a veterinarian. And it's time to slow down there a little bit. And uh, I'm a very active person. I'm someone who works hard. And I can't, if, if I'm going to be in town, I'm going to be at the office. So I said, well, you know, I can spend three and a half days, four days a week as a veterinarian, and three and a half, four days a week uh, serving the public in some a, other way. A, Republic, a Republican taking the seat would be quite a coup. As I mentioned, uh, it was held by a Democrat for a record-breaking uh, uh, time, period of time, the longest time ever in the history of North Carolina for a state senator. So where do you think your campaign is now in terms of getting elected? Um, <clears throat> without sounding too, uh, too optimistic, uh, I really think I will be elected. I think it would be an upset if I'm not elected. But let, well, let's talk about the history a moment or two, though. Actually, the last time a Republican held this seat was 168 years ago. What's changed in the district? The demographics have changed. Brunswick County Brunswick County now, of course, this is Brunswick, Pender, and Columbus, but Brunswick County And Columbus was the seat of where our seat uh, Yes. That was the seat yes, of power. that's right. That was the seat of power. And, of course, they probably, when uh, Senator Soule started, had more people, a uh, greater population than, than did Brunswick. So there's been a population shift. Yeah. Yes, and Brunswick now has 100,000 people. We have Which a majority. Yes, and we have a majority of uh, uh, Republicans, you know, 28,000 Republicans, 27,000 Democrats. 19,000 independents. Now, both the State House and Senate uh, are still controlled by the Democrats yes. as of when we're talking yes. today, uh, with a Democrat governor. Yes. Uh, you're a Republican. How well do you think the state is being run? Well, you ask why am I running? <laughs> that was sort of a loaded question. Uh, if I were happy and if I were uh, a complacent person, which I'm not on either count, um, I, I, would, uh, I would not be in this race. So characterize how, the, how well the state's being run. <clears throat> or poorly, uh, mediocre, uh, fairly well, fairly well. What, how would you say? Well, you know, since we're on TV, I would like to uh, uh, say mediocre, but I'm going to have to say poorly if I want to be honest. So what needs fixing the most? We need to stop spending more money than we take in. Well, we how, how can we... Uh, well, we, we are facing, de uh, the state yes, is facing are. deficits, but we have to have a balanced budget by Constitution. So. Uh, yes, but as I've said many times when I talked around the district, uh, poultry is just another word for chicken, which comes from a movie that uh, Jack Nicholson was in. Uh, when, you, uh, uh, when you borrow or steal money from the Highway Trust Fund or from the Education Lottery, uh, money from savings, if you will, that has already been put aside for a special use and put it in to balance the budget. You really haven't balanced the budget. It's just a paper balance. How would you stop the powers from taking money from the education lottery, for example? How would you stop that? We change the powers. We can't tolerate that sort of behavior anymore. So uh, you mean I have a moral issue with stealing money from the kids. You know, that, that education lottery was sold and passed in this state because we said, we're going to help the kids. We're going to help education. And, and we haven't done that. Now, if, and this is speculative, but if the Democratic Party continues as a majority party in the state Senate, well, first of all, let me ask you, do you think, how do you think that's going to play out? I think, uh, again, optimistically, but pretty darn sure, uh, the Republicans will take the Senate for the first time in 112 you think years. That? Yes, I do. Yes, in my soul. Yes, and what I about do. the House? And in, in the House, I'm not so sure. Okay. We're going to come close. Okay. But I don't. I'm not going to say because I'm very familiar with who's running and what's going on in the Senate. But I'm not that up on 
So you think that the, the Senate will be controlled by the Republicans for the yes, first time? Will. Yes, with as many possibly as 30, which would be a dream to me, but I think we will now have Now let's look at the other side, just to, if yes. that doesn't play out. Yes. Uh, how difficult would it be for a junior senator from the minority, <clears throat> if, if they continue as yes. a minority party, to get a, an agenda accomplished Well, from a, as a junior senator from the minority party? As, as you well know, it doesn't matter what your seniority is. If you're in the minority party historically in North Carolina, uh, your bill did not come out of committee. Well, Danny McComas has done it in, 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 uh, in his district, has done a pretty good job uh, of, of building some, yeah. some he power has, base. And, and he's done it. And to, that's in the House. Yes, of to, in the House. And Carolyn Which has Justice 140 as well. members rather than 50 members. Uh, and they, uh, they have uh, historically worked together a little, be a, a little better. Uh, but remember that the powerhouse of the Senate uh, has either resigned or has decided not to run. So, the, you know, there's going to be a power struggle there if the Democrats were to stay in. Uh, that is going to leave room for the minority party to work with also. Now, uh, I live in your district, so happens. And the state Republican Party, I've gotten a lot of mailings, yeah. uh, uh, spending quite a lot on an anti-red wine, which is your opponent, uh, direct mail campaign. Are you familiar with what's being mailed out? Oh, of course. Yeah. Uh, one of the allegations. And it's all true. One of the <laughs> allegations is uh, that as a head budget writer for the state house, yes. he was instrumental in raising the state gas tax, sales tax, and income tax. That's true. You're yes. Yes. Well, you know, when you're uh, chair of appropriations, you control the checkbook. And as you well know, when that checkbook was handed over to uh, my opponent, we were revenue neutral. When we took it back from my opponent uh, in the House with Bonner Stiller, we were $1.3 billion in debt. In fact, he, I, he, he uh, your opponent, yeah. I, I think, served for something like 20 years. So you would not vote, if you were in the, the Senate for 20 years, he was in the House, of course, but if you were in the Senate for 20 years, you would never vote for a tax increase. Well, in 20 years, I'm not going to say. I can tell you in the next two, I'm not. No, no way, no how, no, no tax, and, nothing. And, and let me back up one. I'm not going to be in the Senate for 20 years because uh, I believe in term limits. I think that uh, 20 years, 18 years, that you've become a career politician. and that, uh, So how long would you? Uh, right now, if I say, what, how long would I like to be there? Well, six years. Six, uh, I think six uh, years. That, I could it, accomplish something in six years. Okay, so is, you said you, you, would, you would do a term limit. Would it, is six years what you're saying you're, you'll serve in no more? No, that's how long I would like. To serve. When you I, say you like, know, my, 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 it's personally, your choice, right? personally. But it is your choice if you run yeah. or not. Yeah, six years is all I think I would like to be there. Uh, as far as term limits go, that's another issue. I well, can, you can self, you can. Yeah, you can limit your own. And, limit and your I, own. Think, I think the, uh, uh, the quote, citizen uh, legislator should. I think you should have the integrity and the fortitude and the courage to say, I've done what I'm going to do, and it's someone else's time. And, and, there's, see, there's this, this sentiment, uh, this uh, anti, mm -hmm. no way raise taxes. Uh, and do you think the public thinks that we should never again raise taxes? And do you think that? Um, I'm, I missed the last part of your question. Yeah, do you think the public, I mean, I, I think that right now the public is we should never raise taxes. It's just we've had it. We're up to here. It's, it's, we're at the limit. Uh, is that a reasonable expectation? And do you think that way? We should never raise taxes again. No, I should hope that we would never have to. Is that a reasonable expectation? I think that's a reasonable expectation. I think we should cut spending. Um, I think we should actually cut some taxes. Okay? Uh, because well, I'm a private sector okay, person. I'm talk, not a government let's person. Let's talk about that. Yeah. You think that the state should, it's, there's a $17 billion budget, state. Um, mm -hmm. You want to cut? Yes specifically because okay. everybody talks about fat okay. and fraud. Yeah. And we're talking but, now we're talking about cuts we're not talking about elimination because elimination is a big word. Right. You can't eliminate entire departments and change things overnight. That's that's not being realistic and that's not being honest with the uh, with the voters. Um, yes, we do have fat. Yes, we do. Uh, we have uh, a bureaucracy well, on a bureaucracy on a bureaucracy. We have five, uh, I believe we have five uh, departments that handle uh, um, finance in the state. 
We have six departments, I believe, that tell us how. Do you think you could that, get that, that accomplished? That handle business. Do we you think you could trim, you could get? Yes, we could trim some of those. But do you think you can get it accomplished? Do you think you With the Republican majority, yes. In the Senate, with a Democrat and uh, uh, governor and a, and a Democrat House, you think you could get that accomplished? We can get a lot of it. You know, the, um, <clears throat> in two years, we have a gubernatorial race. Let's not forget that. Let me get uh, some quick takes on, on, mm -hmm. on some issues. Uh, okay. Do you support or oppose involuntary annexation? Um, I oppose involuntary annexation. I think, I think the people should always have so the right. So you would vote to change the annexation laws in the state? Oh, yes, I would. You know, North Carolina, uh, eminent domain and annexation, we're about as far back in, 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 in the dark ages, if you will, as any state in the in the nation. How about uh, <coughs> Megaport and Southport? I think, um, you know, I've heard one side of that story from the Noport, Southport, a very compelling argument against. And really? I, there, there's been so much information out on both sides of the issue. Uh, uh, I disagree with you. No? No. Yeah, you haven't heard from, why do you think the port is not, if, if you haven't heard from the port. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't. You know, we've heard those little things. The studies have not been done. Would you, would you support doing the studies, not, financing uh, the studies? No, no, not in this financial environment. We don't have the money right now to do it, uh, period. We don't. Uh, that's, that's realistic. Uh, we have infrastructure problems that we need to deal or, with. We have other problems. Offshore drilling, do. you support or oppose that? <laughs> that is a toughie. And that, that's really a tough, uh, a tough issue for me because I'm a pretty environmentally sound person. In fact, I'm quite that way. Uh, ours is natural gas of course, more so than oil, um, and uh, we're almost at presently, let get, yeah. Let me get one more in uh, before. Uh, I, are you going to cut me out? I am. <laughs> Only just to ask you one more oh, question okay. quickly. Okay. Uh, Skyway Superbridge. Okay. Pose, uh, support or oppose? We have to get the people in and out of Wilmington some way, uh, and I'm going to play politician on you on this one. Uh, I represent Brunder, Brunswick Pender in Columbus, and I would like to see the other end of that loop fixed. Uh, what you call the missing link, right? That would help Pender and Brunswick and Columbus. We're out of time. <laughs> well, my goodness! Well, you don't let me answer the question. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm kidding. You. We, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, Bill. thank you, thank you. You know, stay I'm glad with to us. Be here. The Goolsby Lutzi matchup coming up. Stay with us.